The Door County Peninsula is known for its cherries. But a problem looms this year. A warm early spring coupled with recent overnight freezes has created a grim outlook for cherry growers this year. And as Fox 11's Laura Smith found out today, that has more than just the growers worried. Cherry trees usually blossom a month from now. Sweets are 10 days before the tarts. So May 12th on the sweets, May 25th on the tarts. But sweet cherry trees are already flowering in southern Door County. Budding tarts aren't far behind. We definitely came out of dormancy four to five weeks too soon. Door County Cherry Growers Association President Terry Sorensen says that's a problem. Recent overnight temperatures in the mid to low 20s are now causing damage to the fruit buds. As we keep looking here, this is not getting any better. So, and once we open them up, and they're brown and they're dead. Sorensen says every time temps go below freezing, that trims the crop. He's hopeful for the sweet cherries, which right now have more insulation. The tarts, however, which are more predominant, are having a rougher go of it. 25% of the flower buds on this tree, we hope, are still viable. Um, we hope that all 25% pollinate and turn into a cherry. Sorensen says while the mood among growers is pessimistic, no one has ruled out a crop just yet. I would say that a month from now, we're going to know how bad this could be. But right now it's not very good. Sorensen says there will be fruit, but he predicts a shortage and adds price will be affected. That's worrisome for places like Winky's Market in Algoma. We use a lot. The business produces and sells a variety of cherry products. Of course, and it, that ups our product cost also, and so we'll have to adjust accordingly. Jane Winky says a shortage could mean offering fewer quantities of products. Instead of making uh, 500 cases of cherry pie filling, maybe we'll have to put it down to 100, let's say. I mean, I, that's just an estimate. So what will save Door County's cherry crop? Sorensen says steady temperatures from here on out. If we could keep the forecasted lows high enough and we could keep our high temperatures low enough, we could get this thing coasting towards May, we'd be a lot happier. In Brussels, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News.